You're watching 13 News, Kansas News Leader. We are doubling our fun today with our Friday friends from Helping Hands. Not just one, but two little faces Yay. accompanying Emmy today. Yeah. Who do we have? We have, I'm holding Sol and you are holding Alberto. And they are brothers. They came from the same litter and they're both still looking for a home. And they would love to be adopted together if someone wants two kittens. Well, two kittens are better than one because they have fun and they wrestle and they're super fun to watch. Yes. What do we know about Sol and Alberto? They were found in a litter as strays. Their third brother recently was adopted. Mm. and they've been up for adoption for about five weeks now, which is a kind of a long time for little baby kittens. They're about three and a half months old at this point, but they're very friendly with people, playful. Uh, they also snuggle together a lot, so I think they just have wonderful personalities. Well, and it takes a long time for kittens to get really grown up anyway. Yeah. They've got those little baby faces True. for like two years, and Alberto really loves how he looks because he's checking himself <laughs> out on camera right there. Anything special we need to know about caring for kittens this age? Um, that's a good question. They're amazingly really uh, pretty easy to take on as pets. They are already litter box trained. These boys are. They might need a little extra help learning where your litter boxes are, but they eat dry kitten food on their own. You'll want to, you know, help play with them regularly, but they will play with each other as well. And uh, yeah, I have to say kittens are a pretty good starter pet if you haven't had a pet before. <laughs> now, you brought something here that I'll be right <laughs> Show what we've got. This is actually not a table. It is a big styrofoam cooler. It is. Um, and what are we bringing the big styrofoam coolers for? What do you have so, going on this weekend? On Sunday, we are teaming up with Midwest Kitten Coalition for the second time in a row. We did this last year to create outdoor houses for feral cats or outdoor cats that live in your community. So these are going to be free for caretakers to come and pick up. We're making them Sunday from 1 to 4 p.m. at our shelter in our big training room. And we have a lot right now, but we could use more if you happen to have styrofoam coolers at home. If you have dry straw or duct tape, we would accept any of those as donations. And you can also come join us and learn how to make a little shelter for an outdoor cat. So I take it you don't really just want to take the lid off and right. then just leave the cooler sitting yes. like that. So There's some special things that you do to it. Yep, can, exactly. I, I don't know you can't show us, but can you <laughs> briefly describe what, what happens yes. to the coolers? So on Sunday, we'll be drilling holes, cat-sized holes in each of the coolers, duct taping that lid on there so that it stays totally covered and it mm -hmm. will be warm inside. And that's what the dry straw helps with as well. You don't want to do blankets or other things that if they got wet, they could freeze. So dry straw is great for that. And um, it's just a really nice, safe, warm, cozy place for a cat that lives outside because maybe it's feral, maybe it's not friendly enough to come in in the winter to stay safe during those storms. It's nice. So it's nice to have those if you know yes. that there are cats that roam around in your neighborhood. Yeah. I think this would be a perfect time of year to give another big reminder as well. If you know you have cats roaming in your neighborhood, yeah. what happens with our vehicles this time of year that we should be aware of? Yeah, so another place they might go for shelter, and because it can be warm after you turn your engine on is or off, is under the hood. So every morning before you go to work, just knock on that uh, the hood of your car before you get in and start it up, because that would, if there's a cat hiding in there, it should you know shock them enough to wake them up and get them out of the car, because that can be really dangerous. A lot of cats are injured that way by hiding under the hood when you turn the engine on. Since we have Alberto and Sol here, what is the adoption fee for cats right now? Still only $25, $25 through the kitties. end of the month, so through Halloween. And that's only a few days away. Yes. Ooh, spooky scary. And dogs? Zero dollars. Zero dollars for dogs. So go visit the shelter this weekend. If you have any styrofoam coolers like this, one to four on Sunday in the community room is when they're going to be building those outdoor cat shelters. So feel free to drop off your donations or go and help build some. Learn yeah. how to make one for your neighborhood. Alberto and Sol. Can I have Sol too? Yes, thank absolutely. You for being here because we need to say goodbye and thank you to everyone who's watching today. Stay tuned for Investigate TV Plus. We're back at five. Get the latest news, weather, and sports at WIBW.com or follow WIBW on X, Facebook, and our mobile app. Thank you for making 13 News the most watched evening newscast.